Welcome, Huyat Pakia. Welcome, Kungskis. Welcome, Kunshohana. Delank, Kingsay, Dikunai Lagan. I'm happy to see you guys. Welcome, Jadas Klatska. Um, let me see if I can share screen. Yes, but hmm. Um, let me check chat. Uh, yeah, so excited you're here today, Huya Tlekia. We missed you. Uh, so glad you could make it. I know you're super busy. <clears throat> uh, Jadis Flaska, I did a, a little bit of homework trying to find a place to put it. <laughs> I guess I just so excited for it. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to put it in chat. Maybe I better stop share and put it in chat. Um, <clears throat> but I do like the question and um, and um, especially, you know, kids, they want to learn this stuff and us adults too because it's a part of everyday life um so this is a short version um it's there in the chat waha kusidan um that's not good my bad i farted or i tooted um <laughs> If you okay. want the full-fledged, I'm sorry, version, it's going to be longer. Um, but I am going to give both while we're waiting for um, others to join in. Um, so, hush, um, the good and I, um, the gun. Um, I am sorry about that. Kusidan. Um, so that's, I'm sorry about that. I tooted. Um, okay. So, so that's the full-fledged good grammar way of saying it. Hush, the good nice the gun. Kusidan. Thank you so much. How are uh... Um, that was fun. Um, um, I've, I did a phrase before that was, um, I know how to fart <laughs> and because, um, to know how was a verb, I kept, um, well, let me type in. So like when you go to the dictionary, you could find it. In the dictionary, it looks like um, this, kusadang. Um, but when you use it in the present tense, it switches to uh, kusidang. Um, so, um, and if you don't have uh, Dictionary of Alaskan Haida. It's online in the PDF form. The same with um, Alaskan Haida phrase book. If you Google it and put in PDF, it's available. So you could look it up 
on your laptop, your computer, your iPhone, your iPad, whatever. Um, so uh, Kusadang is what you will find it under. It means to two only once. Um, there's other verbs. Like if you're doing a rapid fire tooting, you have to use a different verb. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. Um, I love this conversation. <laughs> um, if you are tooting super loudly, you have to use another verb as well. Um, yeah, they have different instrumentals. So soot, S-A-D, is the bass root. And then you put a different instrumental on it, depending if it's a big cylinder fart or a small one or a medium one, there's a whole bunch of different classifiers or instrumentals that you can use with um, soot to make it different kinds of parts. Super interesting. <clears throat> oh, uh, thank you for that information. I never would have thought. <clears throat> yes, on how a Kunshlohana for um, that clarification. Um, Hunt like Goo is. I'm glad you were able to change your name. And I see Digwe Gaitau. And I see um Eatlinga um, Kiladas and Nangjada Kalaga. Uh, welcome everyone. I do want to share screen again. And <laughs> um Hana and myself um had a scripted conversation here it is it was a phone one um yeah let's come back to that um it's 1206 I think most of us are here. So we're gonna come back to this. And um, Kuntlohana, would you like to do this scripted conversation with me in a little bit? Ja'ang. How, uh, um, and so, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's cool too that, you know, this um, is a phone conversation. So, um, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna come back to this and there is a different verb for loud tooting that we're gonna get to. But first things first, we need to do the Haydn Nation anthem. Um, Kuntlohana. Um, um. On Sung Swanson, um, I messed this up so bad. I was, I was doing okay, but I was looking at the wrong lines. So I thought I messed up and started over. And I think you have a uh, slightly different version, which is totally okay. There's different versions of this. Um, but I just thought the class might want to hear your pretty voice instead of um, how horribly I messed up on Sung Swans on Monday. Uh, so if you could sing it for us, please. How, uh... um, <clears throat> dee 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 dee, dung 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 dung. Oh, uh, uh all rise for the Haiti Nation anthem. Yo we yo Hey, hi, oh, ho, we, ah, we, ah, ha, 
we are, we are, yo ho we oh we oh we are, hey hi yo ho we are, we are, ha, we are, we are. How a dungat kill la, how we are going, um. Thank you, Kuntalo Hana. Thank you very much. Um, that was beautiful. Um, I got tired of hearing my own verse on that song. And so, uh, okay. Um, now, Kuntalo Hana and myself, we never practiced these scripted conversations beforehand. We do it off the cuff, but I'm going to go through it with you in English, and then um, we will perform it in Hod Kill. Um, so at uh, first it says, Huya Iwatsugan, um, Big Raven says, and Kat Juice, excuse me, Kat Juice means little deer. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of this in English. Little dear, how are you doing? I am well, thanks. And how are you doing? I am well, also, thanks. Where are you? Um, do I have a typo, Kunshlohana? Tlanu should have a glottal stop in it. Um, Klan oh. is stop. Klanu is where. Yeah, I just noticed that. And I'm like, uh, there's some typos. So right here and right here. Okay, um, back to English. Um, I am here in Craig. And where are you? Um, I'm here in Juno. What are you doing? I am working from home. It's a hard job. Nevertheless, I know how to work. I am happy about it. And what are you doing? I'm writing a lot of things in Haida. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Why did you say that? The reason is I farted very loudly uh, multiple times. <laughs> That's not right. Stop talking. That's enough. Click. The line goes dead. That's all. <laughs> um, okay. So I am Huya Iwan, Big Raven, and Kuntalohana plays a part of Kat Juice, Little Deer. And so I'm up first, and I say Kat Choose. Anast u shangogen. Shangula sang eats el eaten. Guan shangula hayagen. Hashti good night logging. Gusu dunks is thumb. Gin quan hot kish ah ah alangan. Oh, de good night to gun. Sinkla talk dung sugan. Can Hakanan Ush Tlusa Dungan? Waha, Tlan Gusu, how slow I? Who Tlan? So there you guys have it. Uh, we just acted out this phone conversation and we did a verb with. Um, 
a very loud fart multiple times um, in that conversation. Um, and let's see. Um, please turn on your camera if you want to learn um, Haida introduction. If you don't turn on your camera, I will pick another subject. Okay, I'm going to pick another subject. Um, let's go to, um, oh, something's in chat. Yeah, we're unable to use their camera. Oh, okay. Um, Kachkun. Can you fix it so that they can turn on their cameras? Are you there, Kachkun? Uh, this is actually uh, Rob. Um, Kachkun is um, is preparing for a presentation today, so she um, asked me to fill in. Um, but I will try to let everybody put their camera on. Just give me one second. Okay. How are Rob? So please bear with us, guys, while we are experiencing technical difficulty. Uh, it looks like um, a few of you wanted to turn your cameras on, which is a good sign. Um, and we will be able to go into um, Ida introduction. And if the technical difficulty remains, um, we will go into Ida intro regardless. Um, so let me bring that up. And after uh, Haida intro, if we have enough time, we're going to go into um, Hara Sinan for um, some new phrases that I added. Okay, let me look for Haida intro. That's going to be, oh, here it is. Okay, let's see what else is in chat. Um, um, there are shades of um, pronunciation. Um, let me go to the end of this and try to answer that question. Um, okay, so we have um, Hungogun and the second A is almost pronounced like an I in this case. Um, before I knew what the norm was, I'm such a literal learner that I took the A as an A and I pronounced it Hungogun. Then I got to mass it and they said, uh, we say Hungogun. And I learned afterwards that Alaska, a lot of Alaskans say Hanelgung as well. So um, there are shades of um, pronunciation. Um, let me do another example. Um, good night. Um, this word is very prominent in our culture. Um, like when we say, di gudinai lagan, I am happy. Um, but 
that first day has um, a nice sound as well because it sounds like this. Basically, it sounds like goody nine. Um, so uh, we just have to know what the exceptions to the rule are as uh, we continue on in our language journey. Um, I hope I answered your question, Hanslai Guis. Um, okay. Uh, um, yeah, we'll experience a lot of this as we go along. I'm going to take this off the screen now because um, it doesn't belong in this uh, lesson. So let's go to the top. Um, okay, so I did introduction. Um, um, this is the phrase Dasa. Um, it's a formal greeting. Um, I use it at uh, beginning of speeches, beginning of an introduction. Uh, I might even use it at the beginning of class, um, which is rare. But um, this phrase was saved by Lillian E. Denzel Petfield. And she was a fluent Heidi speaker and she lived in Seattle. And Encarta recorded her in the 1990s. Thank goodness, otherwise this phrase would be lost. So it's not very common, but I'm trying to keep it going. Um, this next part, um, like if you know there's honorable matriarchs in the audience and you're not sure if there are any chiefs, um, you could still say these next uh, phrases if you want to. They're optional. Um, it's more um, uh, common and massive. Um, but um, I was able to use some of these phrases a couple times this year um, at doings and where I was giving a formal speech. Kuljat anga kilslai anga tolang la isis, tolang kuyas isis, honorable matriarchs, ladies of high esteem, hereditary chiefs, to your honor. Good friends, Friend. precious friends. Now this next part is very traditional. And Skidigat, they said this was more traditional than these optional ones. Adala isis, Achlan anash de gudinai lagan. Now there's about five or so different variations of these two phrases, but it's okay. They all mean the same thing. And my note here, this is very traditional. Um, so if you're, if you're not certain, you could skip all of this and go right to Hadala Isis, Achlan Anas, the good in I login are whatever version of this you're most comfortable with. This is the version I was taught. Um, some people say Hadala is, some people say Hadalasi. Um, and there are quite a few different versions of this one as well, but it's very traditional. Um, 
So it's always safe to start off with that if you're not sure about the rest. Um, so after saying good people, I'm happy to be here, which is Hadala Isis, Achan Anash, the good Lagan. We go on to further pleasantries um, if you if you want. Dalang King Zay, the good Lagan. I'm happy to see you folks. Dalang Wad Luant, King Zay, the good Lagan. I'm happy to see all of you guys. Um, Dalang Ech and the Hamilgan. I'm honored with your folks' presence. And again, here's um, that verb, Hamilgan. Um, so I did treat this second A more like an I, Hamilgan. Um, after I found out that was uh, that a lot of people in Alaska and Massa do that. Uh, I then I stopped saying Hungelgun and now I say Hungelgun. Um, and then we do our lineage. Um, I made it a little confusing trying to go too far back to the great great grandmother's status. Let's skip that and go. Um, a lot of people start here with uh, so and so, Dinan, who each, and like I could say, um, Jenny, Ida, Vandal. Collis and Carl, Dinan Uijin, because she passed in 1979. If your grandmother's still alive, then you would say their state their name and say Dinan Uijin. <clears throat> For grandfather, um, state their name, Dichin Uijin. If they have passed, if they're still alive, Dichin U Ijun. Um, and then we say who our mother is or was. Um, for myself, I could say Ethel Elizabeth Carl Yates, D. Ao U Ijun. Um, she passed in 2000. Um, if my mother was still alive, I would. State her name and say Di Ao U Um It's really important that we enunciate uh, to get the right tense. Um, my father passed in 1996, so I could say uh, Ralph Tex Yates Di Hun U Um Males say hun for father, and there's a little bracket, and there's hot. Uh, females say hot for father. Um, if my father was still alive, I would state his name and say di hun u Um Okay. Here's the part where we say our name uh, after we do our lineage. So I could say Rob Yates, you know, Di Kian. My name is Rob Yates. Um, and then I could say my Haida names. Duck Juice is Kian Huya Hadas, Hinu Had Kis Di Kian. My Haida names are Duck Juice and Huya Hadas. And at that time, I could explain the meaning of my names if I want to. Like I could say my names mean small shrimp and white raven respectively. Um, then we state our ethnicities. Um, 
I'm surprised I didn't um, put down um, mixed ethnicities, but um, I could say, let's see, read this here. For example, the hatas is can Schlingadas is can kill a doggin. I am Haida and Klinket and Simsian. Um, so for the Haida part, we had to have an S at the end. For the Klinket part, an S at the end. And we got to the last one. Um, we had to put gun at the end to finish the sentence. Um, um, one of my cousins is Hawaiian, so I have this in here. The U Kanaka Gun. Um, the Haida, uh, the Hawaiians also call themselves Kanaka. If you just want to stay, I am Haida. You could say di uhatagan, um, Alaskan Haida di u isquai hatagan. Um, let me add some more um, nationalities. Um, okay, so. The um, yachts, Hatagan, I am white, and um, the uh, teats, Hatagan, I am of mixed heritage. This one is a lowercase x. I am of mixed heritage. Okay, I think that's more inclusive. Um, this is the part where we state our emoji. Uh, for myself, I would say Gayalas Gusto de Kualagan. I am from the Raven Moji. Um, if you're Eagle, the Sakas Gusto de Kualagan. I am from the Eagle Moji. Um, and um, I did this part for a woman of the Sajagashlanas clan. Uh, let me make a change here. For your clan, uh, you could just go uh, D-U, and then your clan name. Um, so I know one of you has this clan. So you could say D.U. Shalats. Um, I am of the Shalats clan. It was That's what that would mean. Um, another way is right here. Um, state your clan first and say Udi Ejin. Uh, for myself, I could say Yaklanas Udi Ejin. My clan is Yaklanas. Um, house, house name. Uh, my example is right here for myself. Um, who's nice? Um, 
100 years ago, we said um, nest. Um, is can uh, cut nice or nest. Uh, Doof Ejun. I'm from the Brown Bear House of Klinkbon and the Dogfish Shark House of Dodditz. Um, you could stay your clan crest right here and say Udi Hasi Ejun. Um, for myself, I could say um, Sean Till Clustung Udi Hasi Ejun. There are other ways of stating it. Um, a linguist had me change um, the way I was doing it and the way uh, um, another teacher taught us. So um, I actually wish that I didn't listen to the linguist because I didn't, I don't like it. Um, Normally, this would be D E G N, and Crest wouldn't be right in between the two, but that's what the linguist told me to do. So, if you want to do uh, multiple crests, you just put Iskian in between each of your crests. If you're saying your frog, eagle, sculpin, um, cumulus cloud, whatever, and then you would say Udi Hasi Ejun. Um, then you state where you're from. For me, I could say, um, Cow Slice Dude Ejun. I'm from Craig. Um, and then I could state where I live, uh, Cow Slice. I live in Craig. You could say where you work at, uh, which college or university you go to. You could end with um, Hot Kill Skatang. I'm a Haida language scholar. And you could also end with Hawa U, which means thank you, plural. Are there any questions on the high day introduction? No, okay. Um, hopefully I didn't go too fast. We can always go back over it in any future class. If you want to go over a high day introduction, you just tell me. I want to go over a high day introduction, and we will. Um, I'm now going to Hada Sinan, the high way of life. Um, some of you saw the post I did this morning, and I want to go over it. These are all living documents, which means they could be edited and updated at any time. And so I updated this this morning. Hing on Dangu Ejin, just be you. Dangu Sajukan, you are great. Uh, this phrase has multiple meanings. It could mean you are a rock star. Uh, it can mean you sure are great. It can mean you're excellent. It can mean you are excelling. Um, it means a lot of things, all very positive. Dangu um, Kriyas, you are loved. Dangu Kriyas, you are cherished. Dangu Gutkit Agen, you are found to be sacred. Dangu uh, Kagangun, you are safe and protected. Hinan Lao Ejun. So you've seen some of these before. Maybe this one or this one. 
or this one, or it might be all new to you. Um, would you guys like to practice one or two of these phrases? Yes, please. Okay. Um, let me start with, um, let me see if I could go to the top. Okay, um, I see uh, Kung Ski. Is there one of these that you would like to practice? You are great. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one is one of my favorites. I use it all over Facebook. Danu Sajugan. Danu Sajugan. Danu Sajugan. Danu Sajugan. Um, Danu Sajugan. You are great. Are you sure are great? Are you a rock star? Um, I use this one a lot. So how for practicing that one? Up next, I see Jadis uh, Tlatska. Can we do You Are Loved? Yes. Um, I mean, um, so I'll say this three times and then you practice. Dangu um, Kuyariyas. Danu Kriyadiyas. Danu Kriyadiyas. Let me break it down a little bit. This is a little bit long. Um, first off, uh, the Dung and U are going to be pronounced together. So that'll be Dungu. Kriya. Dangu Kriyadiyas. Dangu Kriyadiyas. Dangu Kriyadiyas. Oops. Dangu Kriyadiyas. Ah, who log in? How up? Uh, awesome. How up uh, for practicing Jadas Tlatska? Huntlagu is. Is there one that you would want to practice? Yeah, let me try uh, Dang U Kuya. Oh, okay. Um, Dang U Kuya. Dang U Kuya. Oh, Dang U Kuya. Dang U Kuya. Dang Oh, this one here. Dang U Sajugan. Dang U Sajugan. how oh, for practicing those hunt like goo is. Let me check page two. Um, I see who you are lucky. Yeah. Are, are you there who you are lucky? Yeah. I'm here. Can you hear me? Um. Um, Dungu Kang, uh, the you are safe and protected. Dungu Kang and Gang. Okay, this one's a little uh, challenging. Let me see if I could um, break it down a little bit. Um, Dungu uh, Kang and Gang. Kang and Gang. Ang. Dangu kagen gang. Ang. Ulagen. How, uh, you are safe and protected. Um, 
Is there any others you want to practice? Uh, I'll do the last one. Inang la u i jung. Ang, except for we we're, we're gonna add um, la and u together, and it's uh, gonna lao. become lao. Hinang la u la u i jung. Ang hu la gan. Hinang hinang la u i jung. Ang hu la gan. Perfect. It's a good to uh -huh. hear you speaking Haida again. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you back. Kunshu Hana, let's hear your beautiful voice. Duck to you, Sajugan. Jahau. Our Kunshu Hana. That's funny. Um, that's also sweet to hear. How are Kunshu Hana? Um, Nanjada Kalaga. Um, hello, uh, Dong U Good. Gi de gang, dang u good. You are found to be sacred. How do I? Good. Okay. Dang gang. Okay, let me help you with that. Let me break it down a little bit. First off, dang u, and then we would say good kit, and then agen. Dangu good get agen. Dangu good get agen. Ang who lagen. Dangu good get agen. Dangu good get agen. Ang who lagen. How uh, um, I love, I really love that phrase. Um, it's just really quite, really quite powerful. Um, dig with gay chow. Um. Which ones would you like to practice? Um, life is good. Ah, he, that's a good one. He nong lao yi jung. Ang, who lagen? Is there another one? Dung dung u quiadias quiadias. Ang, dung u quiadias. Ang, who lagen? How ah? Yahua. Good to hear your voice. Two, where's your um row at? What got gun? Oh, I think he's uh, uh, uh I yet I yet I yet how Sungulong. Oh, he's working today. Did I say that right? Um. Yeah, I understood you perfectly. Okay, um, how uh, I'm just being um, nosy. Ishlanga <laughs> um, Kiladas, would you like to practice one or two? Oh, and then I have a question. Sure. Dangu Kuyadias. Ang Kulagan. Skin dung u sa jugam. Ang hu Oh, how I. So I heard Quint uh, Kyohana say, substituted your name for dung, which that's you, right? Dung. Mm -hmm. So if she uses your name and then the rest of the phrase, is it is it like directed just to you or is it like 
a statement to anyone listening that uh, that juice is great, or is it? Is there a difference? I guess. Um. I hope I'm answering this correctly, and if not, um, let me know. Let's say, um, oh, sorry, um, gotta learn how to type. It's even tougher trying to type than Ida. Let's say I say, each lana kiladas usajugam. Um, then I'm saying that, you know, um, healthy price is great, or that Ethan Akiladas is great. Um, so at any of these phrases, you could take down and replace it with a name, whether uh, it be English name or Haida name or um, Smelgia name. Um, yeah, oh, even a kin term could go question. there. Like even a kin term, like D get Islanas the Jugan. My son is great. And you're just announcing it to the world. You're talking behind their back generally. Like I was <laughs> announcing to everyone that Duck Juice was great. <laughs> oh, how I... Yeah, uh, how I could, Lahana, yeah. Um, you could put, um, yeah, what you want in front. Um, like if I say Dung Ao Sejugun, I'm saying um, your mother is great. Um, so um, it's really, um, it's really, um, quite versatile. Um, let me see what's in chat. Oh yeah. Um, sorry, Huntlegu is, we can't do camera today. Thank goodness our microphones are working so we could still um, go around the room and participate. Um, let's find. Um, would you guys be interested in doing any healing phrases? Yes, please. Um, okay. Um, um. okay, so um, we have eight minutes. I think I'm going to stick with what's here on the screen. Um, so Nistla is our verb to um, heal. Um, let me squeeze that in on the screen. Um, so I'm just gonna put it right here. And then it's conjugated um, different ways. So Nistla, that's the NG blend, it's very nasal. Nistla is our verb to heal or recover. So notice at the very top is the Nistlan, I am healing. But when we go to past tense right here, um, it changes. So then we have D Nish. In D niche in. Um, and I don't think we'll be practicing that one today uh, because you have an NG blend and you have an HL blend following an S. It's um it's harder to do. Um eek nishlan, we're healing or we are healing. Uh, Dan Nistlan, you are healing. Dalan Wadluan Nistlan, all of you are healing. Dislai Nistlan, my hand is healing. 
Um, and when we um, say things like this, like uh, let's say I hurt my hand, let's say I burned it on the stove and I put medicine on it and it's starting to heal. Uh, when I say my hand is healing, um, the body believes that. And so, um, so some of these are, or all of these are, um, empowering um, your body to heal or recover. And our last phrase, um, the uh, stagen uh, can the nishkin. I was sick, but I got well. Um, there are other ways of saying that, like, um, I was sick, but now I'm I'm getting better. So there's other ways to say it, not just this one way. Okay, so we have five minutes. I better hurry up. <laughs> Let me go to the top of the page. I see Kunshlohana is up first. Which phrase on this screen would you like to say? The love wadluwai meast long. Hulagan, how uh she said all of you are hailing. Uh Jadis Tlatska, which one would you like to practice? You are healing. Okay, you are healing. Dung Nistlong. Dung Nistlong. Um, Hulagan. How uh um. Uh, Digwa Gaitau. Di stigan can di nistlgen. Um, di stigan can di nistlgen. Oh, that's a tough, that last word. It is. There's so much going on in that <laughs> conjugated verb. <laughs> Can you say it again, please? Um, di stigen can di nishkin. Nishkin. Yeah, oh. you you can't be too close to people when you say that, otherwise you'll spray them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. Oh, uh. How, uh, up next I say, I see Ishlana Kiladas. Oh, um, I want to try to teach me strong. This one here? Uh, get, uh, uh, above it. E oh. Eat. 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 Was it this one? Um, okay. Eat. Nistlong. Eat me. Eat me. Strong. Hulagan. Kau ah. Um. It's really cool to hear your guys' different accents. Very cool. Ah, uh, huya tlakia. Di stigen kian di nishkin. Um, di stigen kian di nishkin. Hulagen. How, uh, hungski, is there one that you would like to practice? Uh, the long waduong on nishkin, nishlam. Um. Ulagen. Uh how uh uh Nanjara Kalaga. Uh the st 
Egan Kian Di Nishkalan. I need help with the last one. Okay. Um, D Nishkin. I was sick, but I got well. Yes. Okay. The, the last part, D Nishkin. D Nishkin. Mm hmm. D Stigan Kian D Nishkin. Ah. D um, Stigan. Can the niche can how uh Nanjara Kalaga that one is a toughie. Um, there's something about the HL blend following an S. Um, Hunt like goo is is there one you'd want to practice? The niche clown, the niche clown. Oh, the top two? Yeah, Dinesh Klang, Dinesh Klang. Okay, um, yeah, the um, the top one is good. The second one is tricky, Dinesh Kien. Dinesh Kien. Oh, who log in? It's that A&I thing again. Yes, yeah. be yes, because um, at the end of a verb, um, it'll have more of a gin sound. So you're right. Um, you need clean. Because um, verbs that end like this, um, yeah. earlier when you, when you said the A could have a URI sound, you're right yeah. because Gung sounds like gung. It sounds like a U, there's a U there. So um, so this is a perfect example of shades of pronunciation. Um, when we do this one, Nist Lang, the double A, that one's obvious. It's going to have a long ah sound. Um, but the single A, um, we just have to know through experience and practice. And we are over time, but I'm going to try and with 60 seconds, try to squeeze in the departure song. Here it is. Okay, how's the king song? D to we, D to we, how's the king song? D to we, D to we, keep squad done, we can love song, keep squad done, we can love song, the monogram's king, D to we, D to we. The monogram's king, D to we, D to we, D guis, D D to we, D to we, D guis, D D to we, D to we. How are you? Thank you all. How are? How are doctors? How are you? 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 How are you?